how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel i have been using the s23 ultra from the past couple of days and since this is the only samsung phone that has the latest one ui 5.1 i thought why not go ahead and share some of the new features and improvements that has been added in one ui 5.1 if you own a samsung device then you might be getting these features very soon With that being said, stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1,000 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment, and let's get started. First things first. If you just open the camera and then click on this More tab, here you get this brand new option called Expert Raw. This was a separate application, but now it has been integrated into the camera UI for quick access. If this app is not installed on your phone, Then it asks you to download the app directly from the Galaxy Store, and then you can easily access all the features of Expert Draw from the camera app itself. The only drawback is you cannot move the Expert Draw mode into the bottom for easier access. But still, I'm glad Samsung integrated all these features into the camera UI, and now it doesn't feel like you have installed a separate app on your phone. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite feature that has been added in One UI 5.1. And guess what? This feature is already available in iOS 16. If I just go to the gallery and select any picture, now Samsung allows you to separate the subject from background. You simply need to press and hold, and it perfectly removes the background from that picture. You can then save it as a separate image, or you can even copy and paste it anywhere you want. I think it's an amazing feature, and I'm sure no other Android phone can do this right now. Moving on, let's talk about widgets. If I long press and select widgets. Here we have got the brand new battery widgets. All you have to do is just drag it onto your home screen. This basically lets you check the battery level on all your Galaxy devices including the S Pen. I have the AirPods Pro with me and it doesn't show the battery level. It only works when you have the Samsung Buds or Samsung smartwatch. Then you can easily check the battery level directly from your home screen. You can choose from two different styles. We have the list view and we also got the circle layout. Apart from this, if I go to the lock screen customization, now we have the option to select no clock widget. Let's say you want to keep your lock screen clean and you don't like to add any kind of widgets in your lock screen, then you can select this no clock widget and you can also turn off the lock screen notifications directly from here. If you really want to keep your lock screen clean, then you can definitely use these options. Next, if you have already enabled the swipe gesture to open apps in split screen, Then let me show you one small change that I have noticed in split screen menu. Right now I am in Play Store and if I swipe with my two fingers, not only it shows the recent apps at the top, but I can also access all my most used applications from the app drawer. So now you can easily open all your favorite apps in split screen mode. These are all the new features and changes that I have noticed in One UI 5.1 and now let me show you some beautiful animations. As you can see the animations feel really really smooth on my S23 Ultra and definitely Samsung has improved the animations in One UI 5.1. Guys, I have already made a comparison video where I compared the S23 Ultra animations with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So if you haven't already, then do watch that video, you will find it on the right side of your screen. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.